back to Typhon, my friend. We'll discuss the particulars here. Master Braggahart. Welcome back, friend. We've made astounding progress thanks to you. Analysis of the Hoth data has laid bare the entire defense grid of the Emperor's Fortress. There are weaknesses we can exploit. Even better. We understand how the cloaking device protects the fortress. We've just jury-rigged a scanner that sees through it. At last, the Emperor is within our reach. It seems almost impossible our plans came together this fast. You're with the best strike team in the galaxy. For us, nothing is impossible. Our vessels are being prepped for the journey to Dromund Kaas. Long-range scanners will receive upgrades to detect the Emperor's fortress. We'll pilot our individual starships to land in different docking bays. Multiple targets will divide the enemy's defenses. Once we're inside the fortress, we'll each follow an assigned path through the security grid. We'll converge on the Emperor's throne room. We'll capture the Sith leader, bring him to Typhon, and redeem him to the lights of force. A perfect victory. The Emperor? Redeemed to the light side? Impossible. Your ally Kira was once a child of darkness. Now she's a Jedi Knight. Defeating the Sith through violence accomplishes nothing. We must embrace them as our own. It is the key to a lasting peace that will save countless lives. Master Braga, we must speak before this plan goes any further. There are those among us who have raised concerns. Now that I've heard the plan, I have my own objections. You have a gift for irony. I've always considered your plan reckless, Master Braga. Now your former team member comes to me with a disturbing vision you chose to ignore. Jomar, we discussed this. You should be in the Kolto Baths. You still haven't recovered from your attack on Tatooine. It was during those healing meditations that I saw a vision of this Jedi. He was falling to the dark side, becoming a Sith. Tell us exactly what you saw happening. It might help me avoid such a terrible outcome. You stood on the red sands of Korriban, the center of Sith power. Your eyes were burning coals. I saw you torturing your own crew. They screamed for mercy, but your heart was cold. Alien. Sith. The future is forever in motion. Events that appear certain today are impossible tomorrow. Must I remind the Council that the Jedi do not pass judgments based solely on visions? If you take him on this mission, it will fail. I should go instead. You're angry over being left behind. You want to replace me. I want to save this galaxy! We all do. But that hope must never descend into passion. I fear that yours has. I've known this Jedi since he was Master Orgus's Padawan. He has saved lives across the galaxy. I do not doubt his loyalty. Jomar, Master Caden, I appreciate your concerns, but I do not share them. I see no reason to delay Master Braga's mission. Thank you, Master Satil. And you, Master Quix. No thanks are needed. With the Force as guide, I simply follow my conscience. Nothing more. No, this is wrong! I know what I saw! Master Braga, I demand you reconsider. There's too much at stake here. The time for debates is over. The hour of our victory approaches. My friends, we depart for the Emperor's Fortress at once. We'll coordinate our assault once we're all inside. May the Force be with us. Docked inside the Emperor's fortress. No sign of opposition. I'm in as well. Perhaps we caught the Emperor napping. I took some cannon fire getting in, but my shields held up. The Medes detect enemy forces converging on my hangar. <sighs> Looks like I drew the short straw. Everyone disembark. Follow your routes to the objective. No surrender, no retreat. Should I bring everyone aboard my ship? This is no place for the unprepared. 
bring only your strongest ally. I'll see you in the throne room. May the Force protect us all. Master Bugger, out. I can feel him. He's waiting. He'd be laughing if he still knew how. Who's laughing? I don't hear anything. The Emperor isn't afraid. He's just quiet. Still. All he feels is... cold rage. I don't care what Master Braga wants. I'll take the Emperor's head first chance I get. Can't you feel the deaths that happened here? Others tried... and failed. We shouldn't have come. This is a trap. The Emperor has no power over us if we stick together. Face your fear. I won't let him take me. Never again. <laughs> violate the Emperor's sanctum. There is only one punishment. Lay down your weapons. I'm taking both of you in. There will be no mercies here. Your friends did not survive. You fight alone. Weapons armed. Just say the word. By my master's command, you must die. You are the Jedi's finest. It is not enough to save you. Tough talk from someone who's losing this fight. Be careful. Arrogance is a weakness freely exploited. Surrender, Sith. You and your master cannot stand against all of us. Stay back. The Emperor and his wrath are all mine. Remember our purpose. The Emperor is within our reach. Misdirected passion. Such a waste. My friends and I wish to speak with you. Please accompany us to Tython. An infantile display, Tol Braga. Reckless pride, limbed by self-righteousness. You are master of nothing. I don't remember introducing ourselves. You have no secrets from me. You stand there because I allow it. Because I do not fear.
let him win. Free yourself. You're stronger than his influence. Fight. Master Orgas? What happened? The Emperor clouded your mind in darkness. Made you do terrible things. You've been the Emperor's pawn a long time. But you're finally free. I've been under his control for days? Weeks? Time has less meaning for me than you. Long enough. You're still aboard the Emperor's fortress. The enemy is everywhere, but they think you serve them. Keep your true nature secret. Find a way out. Your dark ally will help. I don't need advice. Can't you just leave me out of here? The Force is with you again. Be strong. Stop muttering to yourself, Acolyte. Today we test your ability to extract information from the enemy. Knowledge is power. Our enemies possess the secrets to their own annihilation. We must learn everything. I'm ready for my lesson. Please instruct me. One of the scum you arrived with awaits interrogation. You'll conduct it while I watch. We're skipping straight to interrogations? I must be an advanced student. You've already proven yourself capable in combat situations. Follow me. I'll instruct you in using the Tormentor device. You'll see I'm a natural when it comes to inflicting pain. Let's begin. It's a simple device. Three inducement settings, each inflicting greater pain on the subject. The tormentor monitors the subject's vital signs, stopping just short of delivering lethal damage. Still quite agonizing, however. I know you're still in there. You're not one of them. If I beat him, you can too. Proceed with the lowest inducement setting. Get your subject focused. Bad news, Overseer. I don't work for the Emperor anymore. And neither do you. You're free. Are you all right? I am now. I knew you'd come back. This place is crawling with Sith who don't know you're back to normal, but you won't fool them forever. We need to leave. Quick. T7 and the others are still in the docking bay, locked in cages. We can free everyone and take back the ship. We have to warn the Jedi Council about what's happened. One thing at a time. First, we need to get out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> Step away from my ship. We're leaving. If I wished to fight, I would not have freed your crew. Or killed these guards. <laughs> More guards will come. Shall we go before they arrive? Free Master Tol Braga and my fellow Jedi, and I'll consider it. If they were here, I'd have liberated them as well. I could have killed you on Quesh, had I wanted. Did you never wonder why I hesitated? I have waited over 300 years to see the face that came to me in a vision. Your face. How can that possibly be true? I am much older than you think. Only a few beings have ever broken the Emperor's domination. You and that girl are special. Kira and I have the power to destroy your master. Not yet. Not without my help. Though the Emperor seeks to conceal his true plans, I have seen them. That vision has driven me to this. I pledge my loyalty to you. Take me to your Jedi Council on Tython, and I'll reveal why. 
we're not actually considering this. I mean, he's obviously full of awful. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm with Doc. This is a trap. I seek to save this galaxy from annihilation. Without my help, your ship will never escape. I can guide you to freedom. Sergeant Rusk, put a slave collar on our new friend. One wrong move, Sith, and we won't need a lightsaber to remove your head. Time is a luxury we no longer possess. We must go now. I will navigate us through the defense grid. It's been so long. We thought you were lost forever. The mission to seize the Emperor has failed. He's more powerful than we realized. Master Braga, Liha Nerez, and Warren Sidoro are still missing. The Emperor's wrath helped us escape. He betrayed his master to join our side. Sith serve no one but themselves. I altered my loyalties to avert a threat to myself and you. Jedi are not alone in seeing the future. Centuries ago, I had a vision of the Emperor destroying the galaxy. Republic, Empire, everything gone. This Jedi has the power to stop him. Extinguishing all life in every star system? No one could do that. He wields power no Jedi or Sith has dreamed of. The renewed war is merely a diversion to conceal the Emperor's designs. His true plans are already in motion across the galaxy. One by one, every star system will simply die. Trillions will perish. How does that benefit the Emperor? He'll feed on those deaths to become more powerful than all the Jedi and Sith combined. An immortal being of unlimited power. Once everyone's dead, who will he rule over? Domination holds no appeal to him. Only power. And this is not the sole galaxy in the universe. A thousand years ago, the Emperor tricked an entire Sith world into aiding a dark ritual. He promised great power. Only for himself, of course. The ritual consumed every living thing on the planet. He absorbed those life essences through the Force. He didn't kill all you people. Where did your empire come from? The true Sith occupied many worlds at the galaxy's edge. Losing one planet was hardly crippling. The Emperor has manipulated events for centuries towards one goal. Performing an even greater ritual that will destroy this galaxy. But the ritual requires a great sacrifice to begin. Billions of simultaneous deaths. He seeks to commit genocide on Belsavis. That prison world holds the worst filth captured by the Republic. Mass murderers, tyrants, even captured Sith Lords. We've kept the planet's location secret for decades, if the Emperor has found it. Once a sacrifice occurs, the Emperor's ritual cannot be stopped. We must save Belsavis. We? Your role in this is over, Sith. Master Satil will determine what we do with him. Don't overstep yourself. I confess I agree with Master Caden. Leaving the Emperor's Executioner free is a terrible risk. I know the Emperor's ways. Belsavis is not the only world in danger. We must find the others, and I cannot help you from a prison cell. Like it or not, we need each other. He's right. I can feel the truth. Without his help, we are all dead. The Council will concentrate on locating other worlds at risk, and finding our missing friends. I'm counting on you to stop the Emperor's plans. Even if Master Braga and the others aren't dead, they're of no use to us. If they're alive, we won't leave them in captivity. And they may possess information we need. Contact me when you reach Belsavis. And don't rely too closely on your ally. I'm disrupting the fabled Jedi calm. I suggest we depart.